I don't know about you, but when I'm cutting things up in the kitchen, I prefer not to cut my fingertips off. Today, I'm gonna to show you one simple trick that you can do to help prevent cuts to your fingers. So yeah, it happens. If you've spent any time in the kitchen cutting up vegetables, cutting up just about anything with a knife, cuts happen. Heaven knows that I've done it too many times to count. But after I learned this one simple trick in culinary school, the cuts on my fingers significantly went down. And it's so simple, it's just kind of like, why didn't I think of this earlier? Today, I'm happy to show this to you and hopefully it'll help you prevent cuts to your fingers. So here it is. When most people are cutting with a knife, they cut with their, their fingers out and they're just kind of pushing the, the, the food into the knife. That's bad because what happens is the knife blade can come down and boom, that's where, that's where cuts happen. It's right on, the, on your fingertips or on your thumb. The simple move, the one trick that you need to know when cutting things up is to take your fingers and your thumb and curl them in. From there, what you can do is you can just push the food into the blade of the knife with your knuckles and that blade is only gonna be cutting the food, not your fingers. Here, let me show you how it works. So for this example, I'm just gonna use a, a carrot and a chef's knife. And hey, if you haven't already watched my video on how to properly hold a chef's knife like a real chef, check out that video too. I guarantee it's gonna make the control and just your confidence in knife skills a whole lot easier. Again, that's one simple move too. So when most people are, are cutting up fruits and vegetables, they probably just do it like this, right? They, they place their hands, their fingers on whatever they're cutting. In this case, it's a carrot. And they just kind of, you know, push this along. Well, this can cause a problem because, see, you've got your fingers right here where the blade is. And that's where cuts happen. But if you take your fingers and you curl them in, and your thumb too, and you grip, you still grip whatever you're using with your fingertips, but instead of, instead of your tips being out, they're curled in. This way, you just get the carrot, in this case, you move it, and you're just pushing this toward the blade. Now see, even if the blade goes against, right against where your, your hand is, it's gonna butt up against your knuckles, not your fingers. This has saved me too many times to count. You know, I'll get a little too close with the knife and I find it butting against my knuckles and not my fingers. So here it is again. I'm gonna to try to do this in, in slower motion. So the wrong way to do this would be to, this is the wrong way. If you just have your hands, your fingers right here. See, I, it's so instinctive for me now that I immediately did this. But the wrong way is having your fingertips right here because see, the blade would come and boom, there's, there's your finger, bad. But curl these, the, your fingers and your thumb in, and again, the knife blade is only hitting your knuckle, not your fingertips. So there you go. Next time you're cutting something with your knife, just remember, take your, take your fingertips, take your thumb, and fold them in, and just kind of push the food into the knife blade. This is gonna feel a little bit different at first, uh, just like the proper way to hold the chef's knife. Uh, if you've been doing it one way all your life, the wrong way, unfortunately, doing it the right way is gonna feel a little bit different. But once you start doing this, and once you stop getting blood on your food and your cutting board, and you see how, how, how useful this is and how safe this is, uh, it's just gonna become second nature to you. So that's just a quick knife skills video. Uh, I've got a couple of these on this channel. Like I say, I have the other one where uh, I show how to properly hold a chef's knife. I also have a video on how to cut up an onion like, an, like a real chef and another one on cutting up fruits and vegetables the safest way. So if you haven't watched those videos, go check those out as well if you like this one on knife skills. 
So I hope you found this quick tip video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed to this new channel. I really appreciate the support. And as always, if there's any questions you have or any recipes or uh, things you want to know about in the kitchen, put those in the comments below and I'll try to get to them on a future episode. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.